The trick with mulch is that you have to use enough. And if you're in a really dry environment, that means a foot deep. If you live in a really wet environment, I don't know what that means because I've never lived in a wet environment. But when I first started using mulch, I'd put on, you know, a few inches and then the wind would kind of blow it away. And so I'd have to add more. And what eventually it came down to and what I understand now is that you need to put down blocks of mulch or it needs to be heavy mulch. Wood mulch is a lot heavier than straw, but moldy hay mulch is a lot heavier than wood. And you need to chunk your your mulch. It needs to be extremely deep in order to be able to hold weeds out and, and in order to hold water in. And it's taken us years to get enough mulch on into the backyard to hold the moisture in so that we don't have to water anymore. And we have relatively new fruit trees that re re require absolutely no water from us anymore. They're just receiving what they need from the soil. This is my dirt now. After all this mulch has been put on, you see how black it is? I'm going to show you how easy it is to dig through it. It's a good age, eight inches deep. And my shovel goes right in. This was not the case when I was putting these posts in for the living fence. I was having to move big cobblestones out of the way. And the, the places that I've been able to put that kind of mulch on always do better. The places that are still poisonous on our property are the ones that I didn't mulch. The ones that are riddled with voles and that I can't get enough water to are thriving because I have mulch on them. One of the best mulches for really sterile soil is old barn litters, which is your straw mixed with your manure and your urine. And you don't put it up right against the trunk because it'll burn it, but you leave it out around the trunk, around the tree, so that as you water, that works into the ground and it works really, really well. Um, again, any place that you have mulch, you don't want to have chickens because they will dig it all up and all of your, everything will evaporate. So for me, again, it's ducks. But we add between two and three, sometimes even five ton of mulch to our backyard every year in order to keep that mulch layer deep enough to do what it needs to do. So when you commit to doing mulch, that's what you're committing to is that a thin layer this deep of mulch is not going to do anything for you, especially in a really dry environment. So the other thing is drip lines work exceptionally well rather than sprinklers. If you sprinkle from the top, then any weed seeds that are in your mulch will sprout, whereas if you drip uh, irrigate, then all the water goes directly to the roots of the plant. You want to be alive, and your mulch doesn't just uh, become a bed for more, for more weeds. So it does work. It works exceptionally well. Eventually, you don't have to add any kind of fertilizer or manure because all of that organic matter on top is breaking down and turning into deep, rich, black soil. And it really does work, but it, it, it is not a small investment in either time, labor, or money in order to get that much mulch onto your property. And so don't let it look like this panacea of easy cheapness. It's not. It is, it's still work, but it's something that is long term. It's something that once you have it on, it, it starts to feed things immediately. And the more you put on, the better it does. And eventually the weeds are all gone and you have enough mulch in place that everything thrives and is happy. And if you have any more questions about um, back to Eden deep mulch type gardening, go ahead and let me know and we'll talk to you later.